So this is one of the better looking and feeling device out there at this price point. And my God, Gianni just did a really, really good one on this phone. Let's begin. So what do you get with the Gioni M15? Well, the M15 has the Helio G90 processor running things on this phone. And if you know anything about the Helio G series of processors, you know that they're gaming chipsets, meaning you get great performance from phones that support this processor. The Gioni M15 also comes with a 5,100 mAh battery, a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus hole punch display LCD screen, 18 watt fast charging and a 16 megapixel selfie camera. It's also got a quad camera system that comprises of a 48 megapixel main, a 5 megapixel wide angle, a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera for portrait shots. There are two variants of the Gioni M15 available and the two variants have the exact same features except for their memories. One spots 8GB of RAM and 120GB of internal storage, while the other spots 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. Both can be expanded to 256GB. You also get two color options to pick from the non-core gray, which is the one that I have here, and pinkish blue. Now, taking a look at the build and overall appearance of the Gioni M15, <laughs> I'm just personally satisfied with the dimensions of this phone. It's got a substantial screen to body ratio at 91.4%, meaning you're getting a whole lot of screen real estate. It's a 20 by 9 aspect ratio screen, which gives it an impressively comfortable feel in the hand. The back plate is made of plastic, but it has a matte stroke satin finish to it that makes it feel just smooth and pleasing to touch. Gianni calls it the non-core matte design with laser texture. I don't know what that is, but I do know that it feels real good in my hands. Taking a look at the display again, I'm honestly very happy that Gianni included the 1080p screen on this device. It looks good and the colors are quite vibrant. Now, one of the things I noticed while using the Gianni M15 was how smooth and graceful the transitions in the overall OS was. I mean, they're void of stutters and glitches and just makes the M15 very, I mean, joyful to use. The Gianni M15 runs on Android 11, but at this time, I don't have information if it will eventually be update, upgraded rather to Android 12. I'll pin an update in the comment section of this video when I get a feedback from Gianni on this. On battery life, I'm overall okay with the battery life here. It's a 5,100 mAh battery and typically lasts me all day. I mostly only have to charge this phone once in a day and that's at night. This phone comes bundled with an 18 watt fast charger which typically charges the large 5,100 mAh battery in just about 2 hours and 40 minutes. And talking about what came bundled in the box, you get the Gioni M15, you get a pair of earphones, you get an 18 watt charging brick, you get a USB-C to USB-A cable, you get a SIM ejector tool, a user guide documentation, a leaflet with Gioni service centers nationwide and a transparent rubber case. Always nice to have that in the box. Let's talk about the cameras for a bit. Now, of the four cameras at the back of this phone, I found that the 14 megapixel camera produced quite likable photos, especially using the 108 megapixel Ultra HD mode in the camera app. I mean, the photos taken with that mode were quite detailed and had a lot of color. A little oversaturated, but they're the kind that you'd love to post on social media. Now, when lighting is poor, Taking pictures with the regular photo mode saw some of the pictures having a little bit of noise in them. 
um, but that's nothing you can deal with if you have sufficient light in your environment or wherever you're shooting in. Now the wide angle lens on this phone is 5 megapixel and it helps you cover a wider field of view. If you're going to be using this lens indoor in poorly lit spaces, your pictures will turn out quite noisy. But that aside, I also wanted to see how the night mode could improve things in low light on this phone. So I took several shots on the phone, one with flash, one normal and one with the night mode and from the pictures you can see scrolling on your screen you can see that the night mode works quite decently it's not the best of image quality but i mean it helps out when you're really in that low light situation as for the selfie camera the photos taken were average but very usable you can see them on the screen as well and for video the Gioni m15 can shoot in vga 720p 1080p and wait for it 4k so the Gioni m15 will be released into the market on the 31st of may the day this video is published and the Gioni M15 6GB of RAM plus 128GB internal storage variant will retail for 90,800 Naira, which is about $190 or around 14,000 rupees. And the 8GB plus 128GB variant retails for 106,200 Naira, which converts to about $220 or about 16,000 rupees. The Gioni M15 packs quite impressive specs and features, and the price isn't too bad breaking in my opinion. I say it's incredibly well priced and will give other OEMs a run for their money. Well, that's about it. This was a quick unboxing and quick look at the Gioni M15. What do you think about the M15's price, build and overall features? Is this a phone you'd be willing to try out? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks guys for watching, don't forget to like this video to help it get recommended to other viewers and also subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. I'll see you in the next one.